Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Collectibles. It's been a bit of a hiatus since I've been in front of the camera and I wanted to make a more concerted effort to shoot some new content. I was a bit in a funk with all the lockdown things happening in Canada and uh, just mainly concentrating on the online business and didn't really have a lot of time to do some collectible reviews with you all. So I figured from July till December, I'm gonna make a real big push on putting out some new content and some uh, top 10 videos. I got the feedback from the poll saying it was 50-50 between top 10 Transformers and top 10 uh, McDonald's toys. So I thought maybe I would do a concurrent top 10 where I do my top 10 in a video by video basis counting down from top 10 McDonald's toys, 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, you know, that way, and then top 10 Transformers. So I'll release a top 10 McDonald's toys then I'll release the top 10 Transformers and that sort of thing. I think that could be fun and it will create discourse in the comments on if you agree or disagree with me at the end of it. So that being said, uh, tip for today's video, I am going to do a review of a item that just sold on my store, a 1993 Polly Pocket Summer Beach House. So I thought it'd be a cool one to go over. Haven't done a Polly Pocket video in uh, probably about six or seven months. And uh, you can see some of the other stuff behind me that, I might, that I'm gonna be doing a review soon. Shenron and that Minnesota Vikings 1970s bobblehead. So stay tuned for future videos to see those. But for today, we're gonna review the uh, Summer Beach House. So let's get into it. Well, here we have it. The 1993 Bluebird Toys Polly Pocket Summer Beach House. Now it is part of the housing series that all connect on the road. Uh, it's not your traditional compact Polly Pocket. But that being said, it does have some cool features that I'd like to show you. Here is, here is Polly in the blonde ponytail, blue sunglasses, and a summer swim dress, I guess you would call it. Maybe a bathing suit shawl. Um, she's in decent shape. She's a little bit wobbly in the hip region. That's okay. Missing the other figure that goes with it, I think it's Midge. I'm not 100% sure. You'd have to correct me in the comments. We're gonna put her down and take a look at it. You got two beach chairs. You got a little picnic going on here. A very tiny pool, which Polly can sit in, but not, whoa, not great. So she can't really sit in it good because of this tail. The other figure can. So let's open it up. You got a little, I don't know what you would call that, sunscreen table. And then the front, it's got a nice like pastel colors to it. Little open door here. And as we open it up, you can see you got bunk beds, fan. I don't know what that is. A little table, a very short little table. And some flippers and a snorkel on the ground and then here the cool feature is you have a fridge which opens up and it's fully stocked unlike the fridge here it has lots of groceries in it so then it closes up like that it's got a little nub on the ground there if you can see it that's what keeps it closed from closing it can be a little bit tricky so don't push it too hard or you could break it there's several different holes where you can put Polly and Midge one here one here one here one here you would think there's one right here but there's not that's just a hose on the ground and it's got the traditional poly pocket insignia right there so that is the poly pocket summer beach house and as you can see 1993 bluebird toys so it's pretty cool i mean it's a basic one it's not as nice as some of the other ones it's definitely not as nice as the uh disney ones that have been reviewed but all in all like these are super detailed, like the articulation in the windows and the awnings. It's just really, really cool. And uh, I think it'd be a good addition to any collection. Now the person that got this, uh, I hope they like it. And uh, I'm sad to see it go, but one thing about owning a toy store is it's never really goodbye, it's I'll see you again soon. Because these things, I swear, as soon as I sell one, I end up finding another one. So stay tuned for more great content. And like I said, there's gonna be some great new stuff hitting the channel. So let me know in the comments if there's anything you wanna see or anything that interests you uh, about hearing about. Thanks for tuning in and make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment. Thanks again.